Welcome back folks to Let's Play Tacky on the Fringe. When we last left off we got a general introduction to the world at large. And now we're going to go to the job board and we're going to do instructor training. Mr. Logan, good to hear Now, here are our two ships. We have the Orion and the Pegasus. Now if we configure these ships, the Pegasus is currently armed with... absolutely nothing. Because we haven't armed it with anything. Now we have glint light lasers which do a various amount of hull and shield damage and a fire rate. We have the flare medium laser, which does um, more, but of course heats things up more. You have the tiger missiles, which are small and maneuverable. The lead target assistant, combat sense scanners, and afterburners. Now, it doesn't actually tell you how to launch the uh, afterburners. However, did I accept that mission? Mr. Logan, good to hear from you. Okay. Now, the ship we're actually going to be using is the Orion. The Orion, I find, is better than the Pegasus. We currently have on this, in systems, a lead target assistant, and it's currently armed with one glint laser. That's probably actually going to be enough for now. So, let's launch. Evaluate the Novice Pilot Training Course. Let's go! Mr. Logan, this is Junior Flight Instructor Lorna Kirkland. Hello! Thank you for assisting me with the training program today. I'm thrilled to be working with such an experienced pilot. No problem. If you have any suggestions on my technique before I do this for real, please let me know. Will do. Sure thing, Lorna. You'll do great. Okay, I'll begin. Yep. Welcome to the AGT Pilot's Training Course. Here you will learn the basics of piloting a starship. Mm -hmm. On the left side of your screen, okay. you will notice a step-by-step -step objective list for you to follow during this session. Why does it start to increase and do three Take swapple. a few moments to get accustomed to your ship's controls. Try turning and rolling. Adjust your speed with the plus and minus keys. Will do! When you hold down the tab key, your afterburners will provide you with a tremendous burst of speed. Nice. Notice the bar on the right side of your radar. This shows how much energy you have left for your afterburners. You'll notice it drains fast. Okay. In nice. order to travel from sector to sector, you will utilize tachyon coil generator gates. Your navigational computer will highlight any gate you need to travel through to complete your current contract. If the gate is not in front of you, a gold arrow will point to it. Mm -hmm. I will now open the Luna TCG gate, which will let you travel all the way to the Earth's moon in just a matter of seconds. Excellent! How handy we managed to create this technology for ourselves, isn't it? All right, heading to the gate now. Excellent. By the way, you can quickly autopilot through a gate by using the A key. Yeah, we're not going to this time. We're going to plus speed and fly straight to the gate. Zoom. So, you can spin with the W and E keys. Tab is for the afterburner, and plus and minus is for throttle. And I, you can use the mouse to aim, and left mouse button to shoot. Glint light lasers. We are not going to be using just glint light lasers. Oh, trust me, we are going to be uh, switching that out. It takes a while to automatically navigate to a uh, gate. It takes a while to uh, go there manually. We will be doing it automatically when we need to. Here we go, just flying up to it at the speed of fast. And we're going to see the cutscene for traveling through a gate. Zoom. That never changes. Congratulations. You made it to the Luna Sector. Excellent. Before jumping to Venus, you should practice the slide maneuver. Go ahead and fly close to the shipyard so that you have a nearby point of reference. Okay. You got it. When you hold down the Q key, your ship will continue heading in its current direction, regardless of which way you turn the ship. As soon as you release the slide control, your ship will begin heading in the direction that you are pointing. Sliding is handy for making quick turns, or for keeping your weapon pointed at a target. Excellent. When you are comfortable with the slide maneuver, fly through the Venus Sector Tachyon Gate. Well, that seems pretty easy. 
Don't crash into the space station, by the way. That doesn't end well for you. So, it wants to go to this one. And I'm going to actually autopilot. Just press A and it will take you straight to the gate and through. Meow. Guess what? Meow. Marvelous. Ooh. Welcome to the Venus training sector. Here you will be able to practice your targeting skills on inactive space mines and moving unmanned vessels. Your ship's advanced targeting system will automatically locate the nearest enemy. The lower left-hand display will show relevant information such as the ship's name, mm -hmm. allegiance, and its distance from you. It's evil. Press the period key to cycle through all of the enemy mines. Notice that a bright red arrow in the center of the screen will point you to your target, if it is not in front of your ship. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and destroy the mines. Okay. Can I hit it from On here? On the bottom center of your display, you will find your ship's radar. Objects that are in front of your ship will appear in and around the center box. Those on the outer edge of the circle are actually Yo. behind your ship. TCG gates will appear as blue dots. Allied ships will show up as green dots, and enemies will appear as red dots. Your current target is highlighted. Okay. Cycle through all targets with the bracket key. You can also select a target that is directly in front of your ship by pressing enter. Okay, that all seems pretty straightforward. So we're going to show combat with stationary training mines. Not bad at all. Our glint light lasers are not very powerful and I will not want to be equipped with glint light lasers for the uh, foreseeable future. I might be spending money on better lasers. Also, has that actually destroyed them? I don't think that actually has. Do I need to get closer? I think I do, actually. These things are very tiny. There we go. A little closer. And you can actually see it now. Ah! That changes, which means you can actually hit it. There we go. Hey. I'm destroying all of your training mines! And with that, all of your money. Yeah, these things are not very tough at all. Ships are not going to be as uh, weak as these training mines. Okay, that one's out of range. That one's out of range. That is a... Alright, so... Remaining mines are, in fact, out of range. So let's go to those mines. Intense mine-destroying action! Meow. Is it in range yet? Can I blow it up yet? Almost! Almost. Gee, these glint light lasers have zero range. Zero range completely. Pew, pew, pew. Any more? Pew pew pew. And pew pew pew. Oh yeah, do I need to only hit them once or twice? Yeah, 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 don't need to hit them much at all. Pew pew pew. You also don't need to be very accurate, particularly. Not at this point. Use those afterburners. Oh my word, they make you go first. Boom. And pew. Same for the next one. We're not going to destroy the uh, the gate. That would be silly. And that is all of the mines. If you have multiple weapons mounted on your ship, you can cycle the primary and secondary weapon slots with the one and two keys. The tilde key chains your weapons together so that they will all fire when you pull the trigger. If a weapon slot has multiple mounts, you can link them with the 3 or 4 key. Try destroying some more mines. Okay, that's uh, not exceptionally hard for me to destroy more mines. But I only have glint lasers, so... Hmm. Ah! Mm-hmm. 
three, and I fire all three together, like that. Pew, pew. But that's not cool. This is cooler. It's much cooler to fire them all in a little chain like that. Although eventually I will be firing them all in a sort of all or nothing thing. And the next one. Pew, pew. I missed. That one's a sneaky mine. You can ram things to deal damage to them. But the way you'd want to is uh, beyond me. These things are pretty close. Compared to the last ones, I've got a bit too far, uh, a bit too close to them. Yeah, missed that one. There we go. And is that all of the mines? I am now turning on the moving target. Go ahead and practice on these robot ships. A good strategy is to use the 9 key to have your ship automatically match speed with your target. Another trick is to use the Z key to engage your reverse thrusters to slow your ship down quickly. This will keep your enemy in front of you if it tries to evade you with quick turns. The lead target assistant appears as a small circle leading your selected target. When your target is within range, it will right. Place oh, that's your crosshairs dead. in this circle to increase your chances of hitting a moving target. Well, I think I cut you off there, but basically, that little uh, dot there is where you want to aim. Excellent. Now I'm yes. going to teach you how to fight capital ships. Oh. The hulls and shields of large ships are generally strong enough to repel small fighters. Mm -hmm. To take them down, you will need to knock out important subsystems. Cycle through this freighter's subsystems using the semicolon and apostrophe keys. Find and destroy its power generator now. Hey, I can do that. Power generator, right. Let's find it. Can I match its ship? Can I match its uh, ship speed? Not hugely, right. So I need to... It stopped. It has stopped. Right. I haven't found anything yet. It's probably because I'm not actually targeting it. Ah, there we go. Frigate. Uh, turret, weapons, power plant, shield generator. Power plant! Right, there you are. Okay, where is it? Power plant's back there. So let's go destroy the power plant. Fortunately, this thing is going to be pretty stationary and is not going to prove much of a threat in this regard. Where's the power plant? There it is. At least I think that's the power plant. No, that's not the power plant, is it? That is the power plant. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, by the way, those those flame jets there, not gonna hurt me purely. Do I have to get really close to it? Oops. Got it. So that is the end of the uh, power plants. I think that would stop the ship from moving. Were that the uh, turret weapons power plant? We have to get close to this and destroy its weapons power plant. A bit obvious, you really shouldn't stick it on the outside, chaps. Next, a turret and a shield generator. 
Probably the shield generator is actually what you want to destroy first. Now, where is the shield generator? It is on the other side. Right. Meow. Where on the other side? There it is. Ironically, the shield generator is not shielded by the shields. There's some irony there. What else is there for me to destroy on this? A turret and a power plant. Have I still not destroyed that power plant, or do I need to destroy both the power plants? Having destroying everything else, I've completely broken her uh, her path of conversation at this point. Oh, there is another one. There should be no shields. I destroyed those. Destroy the shields, there shouldn't be a shield on this. Yeah, mom. There we go, we'll engage the reverse thrusters briefly. How to pick up cargo in space. Okay. Target the navigational buoy and head to it. Okay. Where is it? I don't see a navigation. Oh, there we go. I see one now. Let's go. Let's go fast. Yeah. Burn those afterburners. Oh. Oh dear. Just let me uh, figure out how to deactivate it. No, I got it. Yeah, uh, press the red button on your console. Yeah. That ought to reset them. Oops. Oh, there. Gotta remember not to let that happen to the rookies. Oops. Well, since you took a little damage, let's skip ahead and talk about your systems. Okay. Look in the lower right of your screen. Mm -hmm. You'll see an icon representing your ship and shields. Okay. If your front or rear shields took damage, you can transfer energy from one to the other. With U and J. Using the U and J keys. Excellent. Your shields will also regenerate over time. Nice. If your hull is damaged, its icon will turn yellow and then red when critical. Okay. Unlike your shields, you must return to Starbase to get your hull repaired. Okay. To the right of the ship icon is your energy management system. Okay. Your shields, afterburners, and energy weapons all draw power from your engines. You can increase the speed at which these systems regenerate with the B, N, and M keys. Keep mm -hmm. in mind, this will reduce the amount of energy available for your engines, which will lower your top speed until the system fully recharges. Okay. In emergency situations, you can instantly transfer power from one system directly to another. Okay. For example, Pressing Y will automatically regenerate your shields with energy from your lasers. Be aware, though, you will lose a little bit of energy every time you transfer from one system to another. Okay. Head to the navigational buoy when you are ready. Will do. Okay. Back to picking up cargo. Thank you. Target the nearby crate. Notice that your radar will only see small objects like this one from a short distance. When you fly in closer... Ah. Your scanners will be able to detect what cargo is inside. You will be notified when you are within range to take it into your cargo hold. Press the enter key to beam it aboard. Okay. Uh, I pressed the enter key. You gonna let me beam it aboard? Oops. I might have rammed the cargo. Good job. You are now ready to head back to Europa. Notice that the objectives show your final destination, how many jumps it takes mm -hmm. to get there, and the gate you need to jump through next. Will do. Sorry about ramming the fertilizer, but uh, it was in the way. Right, let's go back to Europa. I'd say mission accomplished. We're gonna need better weapons if we're gonna be fighting things. Okay, man. Sure. When you get back to the star base, 
You can select your jobs from the contract list and reconfigure your ship with I new weapons and system cards. I will do. Don't forget to read the galactic news and check for new ship upgrades in the hangar's config... Sorry, I was cutting you off there, but you were already telling me stuff I've already checked out in the first video. So let's head back. Should be relatively okay. This concludes the AGT basic pilot's training course. Yay, we didn't die! I hope I did okay as your instructor. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did fine. Don't you worry about trying to kill me back there. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Logan. Feel free to use the autopilot key to dock with Europa Starbase. I will do. I will do. And that is the end of the training mission, where it showed everything, including getting shot at. I would not recommend getting shot at as a general hobby. It's not good for your future. And then we get a little bit of blurb at the end of the mission. Well done, Mr. Logan. Ms. Kirkland has received an evaluation of her routine. Sorry about the malfunctions. Not that we had any fears that you couldn't handle yourself. The credits have been transferred to your account. Hmm. Excellent. So, when we come back, we'll do the other training missions with some better equipment, and then we might actually eventually get onto a proper mission that'll pay proper credits. I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.